Every object placed in a city landscape alters the way wind behaves. This happens because solid objects offer resistance to air. So if we were interested in building a city in harmony with the wind, we want to create less friction and make the wind travel as smoothly as possible around the architecture. Understanding wind effects has never been so important. Why? Because we are building denser cities and higher structures. So let's understand the three most common wind effects in urban areas. Wind on higher altitudes travels faster than on ground level. And as we build taller and taller buildings, those winds are pushed to ground level along the smooth facade of the structure. This wind effect happens on the side sheltered from the wind, the leeward side, when a spiraling upflow creates turbulent wind. That happens because after being separated by the structure, the flow naturally assumes the shape of vortices. As we build denser downtowns, buildings act as a funnel, compressing air within open spaces and causing high turbulence between buildings. It's also important to notice that wind tends to accelerate when encountering corners, especially square edges. Data-driven design will help architects, planners, and contractors to build cities in harmony with the wind.